What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. It's been a while, but we're back into it. We're making videos. I uh, hope you guys saw my new studio tour video that I launched a couple days ago. So yeah, I've been moving into this new place and setting up the home studio. So we're back at it now. We're going to be putting videos out and this one is pretty good. A lot of different stuff from the last OBS uh, recording settings video that I did put out. So definitely check this one out. Uh, but before we do that, guys, let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Own.TV. Own.TV is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover. But let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay, such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, guys, so I have been using a little bit different settings when it comes to recording uh, gameplay or camera footage like you're seeing here uh, within OBS. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, guys, so I'm assuming you can now see my OBS on the screen here. So what we're going to do is first things first, we're going to open up settings. We're going to go down each tab uh, as quickly as possible to make this video as short as possible. Um, but I just want to make sure I cover everything in case this is the first video you guys are going to see. So in the general tab here, I speak English. My language is set to English uh, theme. You know how I feel about this. If you're not using dark mode, just just. Oh, man, you need to, you need to use dark mode. Just use dark mode. Um, automatically check for updates on startup. That is fine. Everything else in this general category we can leave alone. There's nothing here that we need to mess with. So head on down to stream settings here. Uh, we're not going to be focusing on this. This is a recording settings video, but if you do stream, this is where you set it up to go to either Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, wherever you are streaming. This is where you set that up. Next tab we're going to be taking a look at here is the output tab. Um, again, in the output tab, head over to recording. So now in the recording tab, this is where some things get a little bit different from where they were in previous recording settings videos, because I have been using a new setting here that I find gives me almost lossless quality on my videos. Um, it's absolutely amazing. And if you have the space, the, the file sizes are a little bit bigger, um, but if you have the space and can crank it to this setting, uh, I highly suggest you do so. But if you don't have the space, you can crank the setting up a little bit and it's still better recording quality than the previous videos that I showed you guys how to do this in. So in the recording tab here, uh, you're going to want to make sure at the top under output mode, you have it set to advanced. By the way, if you guys see anything that's grayed out here, it's because I am currently recording with OBS. So if it's grayed out, uh, it shouldn't be grayed out for you if you're not recording at the time. So under type, we're going to want this on standard. Set your recording path here. Mine is set to my D drive, which is my drive that I use to record, uh, to store all my recordings from gameplay to camera footage or, you know, videos for the Hammer Dance channel, all that kind of thing. So set your recording path uh, accordingly there. You're going to hit browse and then pick a folder or destination where you want those recordings to get saved. Um, so then after that, we're going to do recording format. Uh, a lot of people are using FLV uh, just simply because in MP4, if you're recording in an MP4 format, if let's say OBS crashed right now, um, this whole file would be corrupt most likely because I'm recording in MP4. Uh, I just used to use MP4 because I do other things with my videos and MP4 is uh, a little bit more universal for me. But if you're worrying about uh, crashes and, and your recordings becoming corrupt, if you're doing really long recordings, I would suggest not using MP4. Um, so then audio track, I have one audio track selected here because I'm only using one. My encoder, I'm using NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new because I'm using a 2070 Super NVIDIA GPU uh, to encode these recordings. If you do not have a 20 series card or higher, I do suggest using the X264 encoder, which will utilize your CPU to do the encoding for the recordings instead of your graphics card. Uh, rescale output down here, we have nothing selected. Custom muxer settings, nothing selected there. This is where it gets a little bit different. Um, so for rate control, you're gonna wanna set that to CQP and the CQ level 14 is basically lossless video quality. Uh, dropping it any lower than that is completely pointless. It will make your file size gigantic and does not increase the quality by, by almost anything at all. Um, however, 
if you are starving for space on your PC. You can definitely take the CQ level and bump this up to maybe 15, 16, 17, um, you know, try and get it to a spot where it, it works for you and, and, you, and, you know, you have enough space to store these files. But I can guarantee you guys that if you're using CQP to record, um, it's going to be a lot better quality. I have enough space. I'm using a dedicated hard drive to store these videos on. So that's why I have it cranked down to 14. Uh, so start with 14, record like a five minute video, see how you're doing on space and then go from there. You can bump that up to 15, 16, 17 to lower that file size a little bit uh, and you don't lose too much quality. But going lower than 14, and I'm repeating this because it's very important. Do not go lower than 14. It does not increase your quality and it will increase the size of the file. So. 14 is like lossless video pretty much like you're recording in the absolute highest quality possible uh, and it looks crystal clear. Uh, anyways, moving on to keyframe interval, you're going to want to set this to two preset. I'm using max quality. However, if you do not have a strong GPU, you can bump this down to quality. Uh, but if you can't afford it, definitely go for max quality profile is set to high. Look ahead is unchecked, but cycle visual tuning, check that box guys, uh, under GPU, set that to zero and your max B frames, you want to set that to two. Um, but yeah, so that's the recording settings there. I'll just plow through the rest of this real quick if anyone's trying to set this up, you know, to the fullest extent from this video. Under audio, you're going to want to have this set to 48 kilohertz, channels, stereo, and whatever devices you have here. I'm using one device here because I use a Go XLR for my microphone, my audio, everything combined is down into one channel. However, if you do not have a Go XLR, you're going to want to set your desktop audio to default. Set your microphone here, whatever microphone you have, um, and you guys should be good from there. Everything else in this category of audio, don't even worry about it. Drop down to video. This is where you're going to set the resolution of your videos. So for me, I'm recording uh, videos and gameplay in 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames. So my base canvas resolution, this is the resolution at which you're playing games at, uh, the resolution of your monitor. I use a 1080p 240 hertz monitor. So for me, it's 1920 by 1080. Um, but if you're using a 2K monitor, this top resolution, you're going to set that to 2K. Uh, output scaled resolution, this is the resolution of the recording. So what your recording is going to be is this output scaled resolution right here. So if you want your recordings to be in 1080, you're going to set this to 1920 by 1080. If you want them to be 720, you're going to set that to 1280 by 720. Uh, downscale filter, I use Langsos. It's the most powerful filter there. Uh, most likely can use that. Uh, if you do have any issues, you could drop it down uh, to the medium level. Common FPS values, this is the FPS at which your recording will be. So I'm doing 60 FPS, so this is where I set 60 FPS. If you're doing recordings in 30 FPS, change that 60 to a 30. Hotkeys, this is the section where if you don't have a Stream Deck or you don't have a Go XLR, you can use this section to create custom keys on your keyboard, uh, basically keybinds that, you know, you can set it so that backslash starts a recording and stops a recording, and so on and so forth. If you guys have done any uh, PC gaming in the past, you'll know what keybinds are. And under the advanced uh, process priority, you want to keep this set to normal. If you bump that any higher, it will decrease your frames drastically in your game. So make sure that's set to normal. Uh, under video, we have renderer direct 3D 11. That's what we're going to use. Color format NV12, color space 709, and color range is set to full. Everything else in here, don't even worry about it, guys. Uh, that, that should wrap up everything if you guys want to set up your OBS to record. Okay, so that's it guys. Uh, like I said, some changes from the last videos that we've put out, but uh, welcome changes and you guys are going to see a drastic increase in the quality of your recordings and your videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot more than you guys know and consider subscribing to the channel and turning on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. Also guys, one more thing I want to add in here. I have decided to go back to streaming on Twitch. So anyways, yeah. Drop me a follow on Twitch, Hammerdance on Twitch. I'll drop a link in the description below this video as well. I'm going to be going back to streaming on Twitch. I switched to YouTube for a while. Uh, I'm not very happy with the platform currently in regards to their live streaming setup. So yeah, I'm going back to streaming live on Twitch. I will still keep putting videos out here on YouTube, obviously. Uh, but yeah, for live streaming, gaming and all that stuff, I want to keep it separate than my hammer dance content, which is not really gaming. It's more streaming related and tech related. So I'm going to keep it separate. Going to go back to live streaming on Twitch. So drop me a follow on there, guys. I'm going to be going live a few times a week, every single week from this point going forward. So anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up. I'll see you next time.